All right, uh, next up, Real Heroes Draw Pictures by Derek. Thank you. This works. So images, we learn from them, they inspire us, they help us explain tough concepts, they grab our attention, but more importantly, they support a key DevOps principle, empathy. As it turns out, empathy can be achieved in pictures. We can, we can use the pictures to understand where we want to go, what we want to achieve, what obstacles we want to overcome within our organizations. And in DevOps, we're the lucky ones. We're the ones that are defining our future, that are defining the way IT works for a whole bunch of organizations out there. And we get to define the way that we want our own organizations to evolve. And we can do that by drawing pictures. Drawing pictures of work and where it begins and where it ends, where it stops, where it intersects with other work along the way. And sometimes how inefficient it is. And when it is inefficient, we can change the picture. We can make it behave the way we want to. We can streamline the work. We can make it more efficient. We can synchronize it with others around our business and make it uh, more efficient or remove the waste from it. And the great thing about pictures, most of you out there are visual learners, right? So you can see a picture and really grasp what is it trying to do? What are we trying to achieve with it? And one of the cool things is when you put a picture at the center of the conversation, it's not about who screwed up, right? It's about we have the wrong picture, right? There's a way that we can actually use the picture to better define what we want to do without blaming people. So we put it together, we put pictures together to represent our organization, our work, our tool chains, and how those tool chains work together and how they make our work more efficient across these organizations. So what I've done is I've put together a collection of DevOps and continuous delivery reference architectures from companies like yours all around the world, and I put them up on SlideShare. In the last year that they've been up there, they've had 74,000 views, right? I'm gonna show you where to get, get a hold of these slides. Because in the pictures of these organizations, from various companies, what you're gonna see is organizations like PayPal, right? PayPal has developed a hybrid continuous delivery environment. You're gonna see what, what do they have on premises? What did they decide to put up in the cloud? How do all of those systems and components work together to achieve the goals that they want? You're gonna see individuals that have put together complete tool chains of open source products, trying to figure out, could I, could I do this for free? Do I have to pay anything for these to achieve what we want to within our own, own organization? And then you're also gonna see some pictures that are really simple and some are more detailed, showing you how work flows across these organizations. What are the feedback loops that they've put in place? What are the stages of work that they've designed to help their organization? And you're gonna see common tools as well. Jira, Puppet, Chef, Nexus, Subversion, Jenkins, right? All the common parts of these tool chains that other people are using. And the cool thing about that is you're gonna see not only the patterns emerge, but I think the most important thing is the pictures help validate what people are doing. Are they doing the same things you're doing? Are they doing stuff that you want to do? Do you have a part of the picture that's missing? And when you want more details from the pictures, there's a URL on each of the slides that shows you the presentation or the blog that they came from. So you want to, when you want to learn more than just the image, right? that information is there and available to you to help you figure out how your organization can do more work, blame less, become more efficient, work at higher velocity, and remove waste from your organization. So I've set my out of office email right now at weeks at sonotype.com. If you email me, there's a link to the presentation, to the reference architectures. If you want to get a hold of it, I'm not going to spam you or email you. It's just a link on the, the out of office. The, the address will come up again. More importantly, I want you guys to share your pictures. If you have a picture of a reference architecture that I can add to the deck, 
send it to me at weeks at tonatype.com and I will put it up there. All of these pictures were contributed by the community. I didn't make these. I just put them together so we can all learn and share from them. Thank you very much.